Welcome to Boot Camp for New Players. In this episode, we're going to be talking about the Moby Glass and your missions and how to go about conducting missions. All right, so when you wake up in your HAB module and you walk down to the uh, main globe room, uh, I pressed F4 to go into third person and F4 to go out of third person. And when you come back into the globe, you don't really have anything to do, right? You just stand here like, what do I do now? What do I do now? Exactly. So what you do is you press F1. F1 will bring up your Moby Glass. And this is where you conduct most of your business in the universe. It'll tell you how much money you've got in the upper right-hand corner. And remember, right now it is Alpha UEC, which is the um, Alpha being the not the beta, not the open module. So it's just Alpha and it's uh, United Earth Credits. And uh, that will probably start at 2750 And then as you do missions, that amount will go up. And then you can use that to buy gear and outfits and weapons and stuff like that. So how do you, now once you get into F1, you've got multiple menu options. Really, you've only got two right now that I know of that are working. And that is, okay, maybe your contacts is, you know, that's, everything down here should be coming soon. You have your journal, which basically just gives you a, uh, a rundown of some information that you can read. This button right here, the squiggly line button right there, is your back button. So you just click that, brings you back. Now this is the Moby Glass uh, scheduler. This is where you get all your missions. So you click anywhere in this box here. And that brings you to your primary missions on the left and your secondary missions below it, and then completed missions. Now, apparently, there is a public enemy, and you ought you by default start with any public enemy mission selected. But I'm going to unselect it by pressing the hexagon. That's how you select the mission. If you want to read the mission, just click on the mission. You can read about it. But if you want to actually select the mission, you click on the hexagon. Okay, now you can either hit F1 to get out of that, or you can use your back button to go back to the main screen. There's also a little close Moby Glass button right there. Okay, now once you've selected a mission, I selected what I select, the ICC mission, you're going to see a waypoint in the direction of the ICC probe. You see right there, report to probe. Okay, I don't see the public enemy because I deselected him. If I went to F1, you can select all the missions. You don't have to select just one at a time. To go out and do these missions, because that probe is many, 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 many kilometers away, you just walk up to this little welcome to Port Olisar touchscreen to request ship press F that'll bring up your ship menu then you press the ship that you want to take you request the ship you give it a second it shows me that it's going to be 0 2 I press F that gets me out of the menu or I can just back up now I know where the B02 is but to help you you can actually follow the plaques on the wall and then you can go follow the plaques once you go through a door you can see the little sign there it says 0 to 4 strut B is this way so I go this way out that door right there and you can see the icon or the waypoint that tells me exactly where my ship is located now before I step through that airlock there's a point I want to make I'm not in a spacesuit if I went out that airlock I would die so what do I do? I go to the lockers that are next to the airlocks and I press F. Give it a second. Boom. It put a suit on. When it puts a suit on, I've got like a little heads up display telling me how much ammo I've got in my hands, like if I pulled a gun out. Uh, I've got my little icons in the upper left hand corner. The first one says that it's a monitored zone. The second one says that I'm not allowed to pull my gun out. 
and if I go F4, which is my third person, I can see that I have my spacesuit on. So I walk up to the door, press F4. Now once you're in the airlock, there's a button right there on the wall that you press to cycle the airlock. Now my thing said 2, right? B2. There's B02 this way. B02 with the arrow to the right. And I look at the signs and it should say 1 on the left, 2 on the right. And there it is. Now remember, we're trying to go on a mission and get a reward. Forward, maneuvering. Check out the maneuvering video I explained how to fly and maneuver your ship. Now I'm trying to find the ICC probe. Report to probe. There it is. And then I point, go B, press F, and there we go. All right, and when you go into your when you follow your missions, you'll notice that there will be waypoints, and then she'll provide you with other waypoints uh, that you could go to in the future, like that one right there. Now I'm not going to follow the entire mission chain, but that's exactly how you do it. And once you've accomplished the mission, then you are given credits, and they're added to your Alpha United Earth credits are added to your bank account. Uh, there's a lot of hidden missions out there, and there's some self-made missions, uh, and you can look back. There's the planet of Crusader. Yeah, so uh, let's make sure I went over everything. We got the Moby Glass. Uh, when your mission's over, you got to reselect a new mission. So that's your Moby Glass F1. You can even bring it up while you're in your ship. Uh, like right now, a new mission just popped up, Repair Array 730. Yeah, and so missions, and then you can deselect missions if you want, if you don't want to see those waypoints, but if you're following a mission, you have to click on the hex to make sure that it's tracked or untracked. Uh, and then once you, yeah, and then once you complete the mission, then you are given your credits. All right, I hope that helped you out. And uh, that was boot camp for new players, how to accept missions, and using your mobile glass. I'll see you in the next one.